Hi everybody, Mr. Boma from Mr. Boma's Balloons here, and in this video I'm going to be showing you how to make a panda. Now I know I've already shown you three other pandas on this channel, so why in the world would I need to show you another? Well, because I want to talk to you a little bit about process. The process of taking one design and tweaking it to make something new. Now this is something balloon artists have been doing since the beginning, right? You go back to the, the very first one balloon dog, and if you change the proportions, you get a giraffe. And if you change the proportions and pose it a little differently, you get a bunny rabbit. So this is something that balloon artists have been doing for a long time, but I think that sometimes in the modern day when we're making such complicated designs with, you know, different colors and, and a bunch of balloons that sometimes we get caught up thinking that we need something brand new for each thing that we're making. And you don't. You can take a design and tweak it to make the something new that you need. So recently, on my channel, I posted a tutorial for Baby Yoda, the child from The Mandalorian. Uh, and some eagle-eyed viewers noticed that the base structure of this is really similar to two other designs that I have on my channel. Those being the koala and Hello Kitty. Yeah, Baby Yoda is Hello Kitty. Um, so the base structure of these is all the same. They have this two by two in the center with a loop going around the outside. The eyes on the outside hold the loop in place. You have a nose in the middle uh, and then you can change the ears. So here we've got big 260 ears for the koala. Here we've got some 160 ears for uh, Hello Kitty. I've got 160 ears, different shape here on the child, on Yoda. Um, you notice that here we've got a big pinch twist at the bottom. Here I've got the pinch twist at the bottom, but I've also put one into the center of the face. On Hello Kitty, no pinch twist at the bottom. So just slight variations. I've made the, the eyes and nose are smaller here than they are here, right? So just little tweaks and you can come up with lots of different things from the same design. In fact, let me show you some more. Here's a baby seal. Baby seal made from the same base structure. Uh, here's a sloth. Uh, the, the baby seal, oh, I guess the sloth should be like this, hanging from the branch, right? Uh, the, the baby seal and the sloth don't have any ears at all. Uh, here's a bear. And I've taken, I've put a loop twist on the front here to give him more of a, a snout, a muzzle. So there's a, a bear design for you. Uh, in this video, we're going to be making this panda. Same base design, the ears are different than the others, but similar in terms of where they attach, how they're made. Okay, so you need uh, one balloon for the head structure, you need one balloon for the ears, and one balloon for the eyes and nose. All right, grab your balloons, let's get started. All right, here are the balloons that I'm using. I'm using blue and purple instead of black and white because they show up better on camera. Starting with the lighter color, this is for the head structure. And I'm going to blow this up, leaving myself about a seven finger tail. And actually I'm going to let a little bit of air out of this. And then I'm going to tie it. Now I'm going to start with a pinch twist. And depending on the design that you're doing, you may actually do two pinch twists, or you may do no pinch twists here at the beginning. It all depends. Okay, so now I'm going to do a hands width bubble, four fingers to a hands width for the front of the face, a small bubble for the top of the head, followed by a pinch twist. Now this pinch twist is going to be an attachment point for the ears. Now I'm going to be pulling this down. I want the top of the head to be kind of level. So I pull that down so that it's level. And then when I make my twist, what you're going to notice is that this back bubble ends up being shorter than the front bubble. That's what we want. All right, now I'm going to be doing the same thing again. I'm going to be going up and then over and then down. So another hands width bubble, and now I need to connect that joint there with that joint there, those two twists. So I pinch them together, and then I'm going to roll them around. Now this can be a little bit of a challenge, like it is here. Oh, I struggle with it. All right, got it. Now I'm going to take the balloon back to the pinch twist, and I'm actually going to squeeze all the air out of the balloon when I do this, 
so that I only have one bubble up on the top of the head instead of having a double bubble. Now I'm going to come down in the back and twist into the pinch twist at the bottom. And now I'm going to be going around the outside like this. And now I'm manipulating the balloon a little bit. I'm squeezing the air out a little bit so that that is a little bit soft because we want it to be a little bit soft and pliable when we put the eyes in. So the loop is going to go around. I'm just making sure that that's about where I want it. I make my twist and I twist into that pinch twist in, at the bottom. And there on the sides, that's where the eyes will go. Taking my first dark balloon, this is going to be for the eyes and nose. Just put a little bit of air in it. You don't need very much at all. Tying it. Deciding how large I want the eyes. So I'm going to go about two and a half fingers here because I'm making eye spots on the panda. Not really the eyes. These are the eye spots. So about two and a half fingers. And then I'm going to tie that end to end. And I'm going to double tie it so it doesn't come undone. And then I'm going to cut the nozzle off so it doesn't show. Now I'm squeezing air out of the balloon and I'm going to twist and twist and twist and twist and twist because I want space between my two bubbles. Now I'm going to make the second eye spot. So try and make this bubble the same as the first. You can see I kind of pinch twist it there and then I compare them. And I've decided it's a little bit too small, so I'm going to make it a little larger. Again, I twist it. That looks good. So now I'm going to break off the rest. And I'm going to save that to use for the nose. Now I tie this second bubble end to end. Double tie it again so that it doesn't come undone. If you've got leftover balloon there, you can cut that off again so it doesn't show. And now I'm going to take the head, I'm going to take the loop off of the head, and I'm going to pass one of the eyes through the center. That bubble at the top gives a little bit of space to make this a little bit easier. Pull those through, there you have it like that. And now you're going to put the loop up and over. I'm going to fiddle with this a little to get the positioning just how I want it. See, I'm stretching that balloon. You, you do want the, you, you don't want this. You don't want the eyes out in front like this. You can see that doesn't look good, right? You want them tucked into the loop on each side, pulling the loop out and tucked in on the sides. So just making some more adjustments. I'm going to be doing this throughout the video. I keep adjusting and adjusting and adjusting, making sure that it looks good as I go. I'm going to take the rest of that balloon and I'm going to make the nose. Just a little tiny bit of air is all you need. And don't tie it right away. We want to squeeze the air down so that we have a long end there. And now tie that. Now I'm going to make a bubble about the size I think I might want the nose. Squeeze the air down. Again, I'm going to want a long end on this. So there you can see I've got a long end and I'm letting more air out because that bubble was too large. And once I've got it the size I want, I'm going to tie it end to end. Now I've got those two long ends, and I'm going to be taking those ends, I'm going to shove them through the center of the face, pull them out the back, one end will go around the pinch twist at the top, and one end will go around the pinch twist at the bottom. That will help keep the nose centered on the face, so it doesn't slide up and it doesn't slide down. 
So here I've pulled the first one through and I'm taking it to the bottom. And I take it around a couple times. And the second one through the center. And up to the pinch twist at the top. You can see that I left myself a lot more than I needed, so I just tuck away the rest. And again, I'm going to adjust things. Now that's the face that I used for uh, the sloth, although I did have different color palette, obviously. But this is the this is the base structure without the ears. So now I'm going to bring in the next balloon for making the ears. And put a few pumps of air. I actually end up way over inflating this. I put way more air in it than I need. Half a balloon is plenty on this. Now I'm going to start by making a loop for one of the ears. Followed by a pinch twist. The pinch twist is going to help me position the ears where I want it. And then a small bubble. And that gets attached to the pinch twist on the top of the head. Now I'm going to make another small bubble, followed by a pinch twist and a loop. Now you could break off the rest of the balloon and be done, but to help position the ears just where I want them, I'm going to take that balloon and I'm going to pass it through the center and attach it to the pinch twist on the other ear. I've got way too much air in here. I mentioned that earlier, so I'm, I'm breaking this off now and letting out a bunch of air. I actually could let out a bunch more than I do. And now I'm making a twist here, but I end up deciding that I don't really want that twist at this point. So I'm going to undo it and I'm just going to put the balloon through the center of the head. Just pull it through. And now I'm going to bring it up and I'm going to attach it to the pinch twist on the other ear. And I'm going to break off the rest and tie it. Now you can adjust those pinch twists so that you can get the ears where you want them. Again, going back, making sure the face looks right, making sure the ears are positioned where I want them. And again, with those pinch twists in the back, you can move those around to put the ears where you want them. You can see one of the ears is more straight up than the other. So you can see I'm going to, going to be showing you here by moving the pinch twist there, the ears are straight up or changing the position and the ears are straight out. So I want the ears somewhere in between kind of three quarters. And that's what the pinch twists allow you to do is adjust that. So there you go. That is the panda's head. And then you can attach that to a very simple body. And you have yourself yet another panda design. But again, the nice thing about this is that this base design with the loop and the center, uh, this base design can be used for lots and lots of different stuff. So have fun with it. I'd love to see what you do with it. And I will see you again real soon. Thanks for watching. Bye-bye.